What was that? I didn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> when Diane Walsh's husband got in the car Friday morning, it wouldn't start. He thought it was a bad battery. He was like frustrated. He slammed the door in the car and he came out and when he opened the hood, there, there the snake was. Right then you will see his expression. What was his expression? Was like, oh, and he jumped back and he was like freaking out. He was running in the garage. The washes tried scaring the snake out with a hose, but the snake just kept moving from one place to the other and ended up in the wheel well by the time rescuers with Wildlife Inc. Education and Rehabilitation Center showed up. We had to turn the wheel, pull apart this vinyl, and access the metal space up and underneath through here. I could hear him hissing through the car. Uh, a couple times he struck at my hand. I had to pull out really fast. An hour later, the three-foot-long ball python was out. Whatever they can fit their head through, pretty much, that they can fit the rest of their body. It turns out the snake had nothing to do with the car not starting. See, the Walsh's Impala is keyless, and they had left the doors unlocked the night before. When Diane's husband tried pushing the ignition button, the car wouldn't start. See, he forgot the key fob. Or else he would have been taken for quite a ride. 4,000 calls a year, and Friday's was... This is definitely a first for us. How does this one rate against all the others? Um, it was one of the definitely more interesting ones. In Bradenton, Isabel Mascarenas, 10 News.